Um, how does Jill support me? Uh, the list is extensive for one thing. Um, but one, one way in particular that she supports me is that she grounds me, she speaks truth into my life, um, and she lives that so that when I get all kind of frazzled and um, in my own head, um, she brings me down to what really matters, and that is um, loving people and loving God. Rachel also, yeah, does that. She, uh, Rachel is um, the person who listens to me the best. Uh, here's what I'm saying. Here's what's behind what I'm saying. Um, speaks that truth back to me also, but all kinds of grace and compassion with that as well. So I always know that, I always know that when I've got something I need to talk about, I can, yeah, I can go there and she will, she will listen. I always thought I was that person for you, John. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me, don't make me respond. <laughs> uh, Sunny, uh, I, I think what, what I appreciate about, most about Sunny and how she uh, supports me is she, she gets my schedule. She knows that my schedule is going to be wonky at times and, and, um, and, and she just kind of antis anticipates that, knows that uh, it's not a nine to five and, and rolls with that. And, um, but that, that's been pretty great to, to have that. Because um, it's, it's not always easy, especially, especially when the girls were in the house. Now that we're kind of empty nesters. She's like, go. Go yeah. do ministry. And it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think just um, that's been her, um, her life for, for much of uh, our marriage. And, and she's just rolled with that well. I'm going to piggyback off what you said. Um, from the beginning of being a pastor, Steph has always been very supportive of when I got to go do stuff. And has never once that I can remember in almost 20 years made me feel bad when I had to go to a meeting or go somewhere. I remember uh, years ago, one of our families lost their dad and husband on Thanksgiving. And Pastor Dean, uh, Natasi was here at the time, and he was, he was up preaching for Thanksgiving. So he was like, you got to go. And we had all kinds of folks at our house that day. And... She didn't make me feel bad about that. I was like, no, you got to go and, and serve, serve those people. And so that's really, really huge because it's, and I know your wives are the same with you guys, and we're really blessed in that because there's a lot of pastors whose wives who kind of hold that stuff against them. So grateful for that. Um, I love Stephanie's sassiness and her sense of humor. So she is very introverted and yet she's very funny, and so when we're at home, she's funny and sassy, and I love that about her. It keeps things interesting around our household, so I'm, I really love that about you, Stephanie. Uh, what do I like? What do I love about my wife? Uh, we we kind of have the same likes, the same interests, and, and it's pretty great. Uh, we both are Nebraska um, sports fans, I was going to say. <laughs> Both love watching tennis, um, playing tennis. Mandalorian. Um, yeah. <laughs> this, who's, who's sharing this? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sunny doesn't play as much tennis as, as she used to, but, um, but boy, we sure love watching it, uh, watching March Madness. This has been great. Um, and, uh, yes, there's a small part of, of Nebraska football and everything else that also occupies our lives. But... Um, we'll sit and watch uh, movies together and, and just spending time together. I love that we can spend time together, uh, you know, on those times where we can. <laughs> uh, I tell Rachel all the time that she's my favorite human, uh, and she really is. Um, she's got, uh, she's not so much sassy, maybe like Stephanie, but she's got a, I call it a stealth sense of humor. So she's a kindergarten teacher, and you would, you'd sort of have a picture of a kindergarten teacher uh, there, and she definitely fits uh, some of that. But she, she'll, if you're not paying attention, she'll come around with a, uh, just something that'll knock you down laughing. Uh, and and uh, you, yeah, you don't see it coming, but man, she's funny. She's also, um, gosh, since we've been married 32 years, and it's been um, a, a partnership the whole way through. I've never had a, a single 
moment of question, even, even when we had newborn twins, of <laughs> whether or not we were partners in this thing together. Uh, and um, all, yeah, those, all those things and so much more just make, make you, Rachel, my favorite person. Then. Wow, again, extensive list. And everything you guys said is just so fantastic. Um, two things. I have a sassy wife as well. Um, and she is hilarious. And, um, but, but I want to I focus on, on this. So at the end of the night, okay, she can crack me up and she's silly and we dance in the kitchen and all that sort of thing. But at the end of the evening, one of my favorite things, one of the things I love the most about Jill is that um, we'll just turn the lights down low. She'll go over to the grand piano and I can just sit on the couch and she just plays the most beautiful classical music. And I love classical music. And it is, it's like she's my therapist, <laughs> you know? Um, it just is so comforting and, um, and peaceful for me. So Jill, thank you. Thank you for uh, using your incredible gifts, uh, even not just in the context of a worship service, but in the context of our home, how you minister to me in that way. One thing I think is, is really fun about Jill is that uh, she, is, she is a farm girl who loves tractors. And she collects um, farm apparel, okay? <laughs> There's something you probably did not know about her. And this one also cracks me up, is that she'll see a beautiful uh, golf course and she'll, she'll look at that and think, oh, what I wouldn't give to just ride a horse through there. <laughs> not, not simply because she would like to be destructive of the course, but it's just so pretty, you yeah. know, and she would rather be on a horse than just about anywhere. Rachel has this uh, playful side to her. Um, w w one of the moments that sort of locked it in that she was the one for me uh, was when we were in college and I was walking to the... Um, cafeteria and I heard some noise and I looked up in this tree and she and two of her friends are like I don't know a story and a half up in this in this <laughs> tree make it just having a, a ball because it was a spring day and it was a nice tree and there you go she's not climbing trees as much as she used to anymore but she's got this playful uh, fun sort of winsome side to her that um, you, you don't always get to see it's sort of with her stealth humor but it's there and it just makes life uh, so much fun Sunny's kind of an open book uh, and doesn't hold stuff back um, necessarily. She is um, a behind-the-scenes person, though. I mean, that, that much is, is evident. She's a hard, hard worker, um, but she doesn't work hard for the accolades. Um, she just enjoys, enjoys not, <laughs> not, she just enjoys working hard, <laughs> you know, and, and that's just kind of her personality. And so, um, it's it's uh, um, in, in in her spare time, um, she's helping out with the live stream now. Uh, she's um, sometimes you know running the camera down downstairs or or uh, um, switching screens. So if you're watching this online, um, it, it's a good bet that Sunny's going to be behind the scenes there too. So um, just a behind the scenes person who um, likes to serve in ways that she. Uh, knows that she can. Two things about Steph. One is she um, has the ability to read while she runs on the treadmill. I don't know how she does it, but she's a voracious reader, so she reads all kinds of stuff and like 50 devotions and through the Bible 12 times a year. I don't know mm. how often, but loves to read. So that's one thing kind of on the serious side. On the playful side, she's an expert at Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is sort of like Tetris, or all the, except for you're trying to kill viruses, and she can dominate that game. I often tell her she should get into gaming. She could probably win some <laughs> Dr. Mario tournaments if there is such a thing. Thank you, Stephanie. I love you. Thank you, Sonny. Love you. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. I love you. Thank you, Jill. I love you. <laughs>